Welcome to The Essential Me. I'm Tina Martin of Essential Partners. And um, this is about essential women's so health. Here's where we've been so far. We did emotional balance with Andy Tippy, and we did essential family with the keepers. And today is women's health with myself. Uh, next week we have men's health. So it's a good tag um, to follow on with the women's health. So we have um, Mike Martin, my significant other, and Larry Shorts, um, Nikki's significant other, that are gonna be telling us all about men's health. And then we'll go into finance and brain health and animals and yoga and detoxing and skincare and baking and all that fun stuff. So we will have it all coming soon. So this is where we've been for this month, the month of March. April is uh, right around the corner. And that's where you can get a hold of Andy. Or if you need to get a hold of Kat, uh, just let me know. We can get you her information as well. And then, like I said, next month, we've got men's health. So you got Mike Martin and Larry Shorts. And then we'll do financial with Ann Martin. So she's with Apricity Wealth Management. So this is me, recently retired after 25 years in construction management. So that's me looking happy. <laughs> um, I'm also a published poet and author of a children's book that I did with my daughter, um, who did all the illustrations when she was 10 and 11. It's called The Tree of Life. Um, I do enjoy empowering others to take change um, in their family's health and wellness, um, especially with doTERRA, because that's what I know and love. Um, and no matter where my projects are, which some may take me different places, um, all my projects are about building people. So I want to make sure that people know how to educate themselves, because I believe that's key. So hormones. We all have them, we all love them and hate them at the same time. So we often associate only one hormone with each men or women as the sexual hormone, right? But we have 50 hormones that we have from birth to death. So hormones are part of the endocrine system and that endocrine system produces those hormones to be the chemical messengers to coordinate everything in our body so that our organs function optimally. So what are our hormones responsible for if we have so many? Our growth and development, our metabolism, our homeostasis, our sexual function reproduction, skin and bone health, our mood, our cardiovascular health. And when we try and put synthetic steroids um, to manage our hormones, they generally suppress the hormone issue and do not get to the root cause. Um, and Little side note, men do need a small amount of estrogen for cognitive function in their older years, I would say, as they get older. So what disrupts our hormones? The one that's kind of hidden there by my video is sedentary lifestyle. We all know a sedentary lifestyle is not the best for us. Poor nutrition. One thing I would say to try, because a lot of people are iodine sufficient, is take um, an iodine supplement you can find at any health food store. And what I would tell you to do is take and make a swath in the, with the orange. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a swath on the inside of your wrist at a time when you're not going to be washing it off for 24 hours. You're going to make a two inch triangle on that section of your arm. And what we're looking for is, yes, it will um, get lighter, but you don't want it to totally disappear. So if it's totally disappeared in 24 hours, then you may need to uh, seek some assistance in checking your iodine levels. So that's one thing with poor nutrition. Um, a lot of us basically have gotten away from using salts, especially those bleached white salts that aren't good for us, and we know that. But you need that magnesium to be able to retain water and keep from being dehydrated. So you need not the bleached white salts, but you do need a Celtic salt, a sea salt, a um, Himalayan salt, some of the good salts in your body to be able to maintain that water. Um, I know that's probably not a good word talking to women, but to keep from being dehydrated. So you need some, not a lot, just some. Um, environmental toxicity, we're going to talk um, about here in a minute. We'll go through the dirty dozen. Um, adrenal fatigue. One thing I would say is a lot of people have adrenal fatigue and don't necessarily know it. One way to figure out whether or not you do, I'm going to stand up here for a second, sorry for the noise, is you're going to go from the belly button, you're going to go two inches out and two inches up, and you're going to kind of poke yourself a little bit. And when you poke yourself right there, that's where those adrenals are. If you feel that the pressure adds a little bit 
of a pain element to it or discomfort element to it, then you may need to check um, with your adrenals or go ahead and supplement them with some of the essential oils that are good for adrenals. So I would do juniper berry is um, one you can use by itself or use a combination of rosemary and clove. Now when you use clove, it's one of those hot oils, so you wanna use a little bit of the fractionated coconut oil or some other carrier. Um, and you do one drop of each or just one drop of the juniper berry and you're gonna put that Basically, on the back side is the closest way to get to your adrenals. So in that same location that you poked on your stomach, you're going to put that on the back side. And I would do that probably two to three times a day if you feel like you have adrenal fatigue. Um, autoimmunity. Uh, one thing I would say about that is there's a Dr. Mark Hyman that I've read some of his work. And um, in regards to autoimmune um, causes, he basically says there's some hidden factors with allergens. So go get a food test um, if you have an autoimmune disease. Um, hidden factors like infections. So when you're looking at things like yeast or candida, bacteria, Lyme disease, et cetera, um, a lot of those can be detected with different tests as well. And we're gonna be talking about how to detox and a candida detox and a regular detox um, in May. So stay tuned for that. But that will help with some of these things that we're trying to get rid of out of our bodies. Um, environmental toxins, which also cause autoimmune disease. So um, again, we're looking at the top 12 coming up. Um, and inflammation is shown there. It's also a cause for autoimmunity. Actually, most diseases come from inflammation. That's your body's first line of defense is to try and go to the area and figure out what's wrong. So, um, but this inflammation that we're talking about here is like an inflammatory diet. So when you're not eating the right things can cause um, an infection, can cause different things to happen with your gut, which is your second brain, right? Which we'll be talking about with Norma and Shay uh, next month. Um, so we want to make sure we're getting the right nutrients, whether that's through our food, which is very difficult nowadays to get all the right nutrients, or whether that's through a supplement. Um, and we'll be talking about some of that as well. Uh, again, infections. Infections basically disrupt hormones because everything has to go to that infection to try and fix what's going on. Um, another disruptor can be, and we'll talk about it a little bit here, is going to be stress. So we want to make sure that we exercise regularly, um, that one of the reasons we need to exercise, and I am not a big advocate of harsh exercise, especially at my age, I'm not going to go do impact aerobics or something like that. But um, one of the reasons you need to do that is for your lymph nodes to be able to excrete the toxins that they have filtered through your body. You have hundreds of uh, lymph nodes, and one of the ways that they um, release those toxins out of your body is through exercise. Okay. Um, we want to manage stress. Stress is a big one. So we want to do yoga or meditation or um, massage or reading, something that rejuvenates your body back um, to a less stressful state. So here's the dirty dozen I was talking about. It's from Dr. Axe and the Environmental Working Group um, that put this together. Dr. Axe's link is down here. Um, and if you want that, definitely give that to you. There's a lot more information in the article. I just picked this up as a quick reference um, for those environmental toxins that we talked about. So BPA, a lot of people have heard about BPA, you know, our canned goods, et cetera. Well, um, it imitates our sex hormone, our, our estrogen. And um, one of the ways to avoid it is to choose fresh or fo frozen food over canned food. Um, actually, the receipts that you get um, from different places. Uh, the thermal part of that receipt actually has BPA. So you want to avoid, if you don't need a receipt, don't take the receipt. <laughs> avoid um, the polycarbonate, which is um, PC for short, or number seven on your plastic recycle numbers that's in that little triangle at the bottom of the plastics. Um, and then when you're looking at things that say they're BPA free, be careful it doesn't have BPS because that's also toxic. Number two is dioxin, and that's one that is basically in a lot of our um, processed foods, processed meats, um, so it's difficult to stay away from it um, because it builds up in the animal products that we have. Um, 
a lot of these I'm probably not going to pronounce. <laughs> so we'll just call this one number three. But uh, you want to buy organic. So this is a toxic weed killer um, that has very bad side effects for our hormones. So we want to buy organic and we want to make sure that we look at the EWG for our water and make sure it's filtered out of our water. Um, number four, we're going to avoid fragrances here. So I know uh, we like to, I used to really love some uh, perfume, but now I use my oils for those perfumes that I can mimic some of those fragrances. Actually, those fragrances were meant to mimic the natural fragrance from plants anyway. So just going to the source. Um, plastic food containers and plastic wrap um, are part of the number four here. And then stay away from vinyl flooring and products. I'm assuming that the vinyl flooring and products are not going to be um, necessarily something that you're ingesting or that you're around a lot, but it probably gives off a chemical and off gassing of those um, that tends to block hormones. Number five, um, again, test your water, make sure it's not contaminated with number five. Um, it's actually rocket fuel. Um, so with filtering it out of your water, it's talking about reverse osmosis filters. Then number six, fire retardants. Um, they were big. They were big uh, advertisements for fire retardants um, in kids' pajamas and everything else. Um, but actually, they do disrupt the hormones. So try to avoid it. Um, if you have it in your area, go ahead and use a HEPA filter. Um, but avoid those uh, foam. So foam in the carpet that's older than probably oh, fairly recent, um, in 2010 or so, any foam carpets. Um, and then you're looking at any foam, foam and furniture that's earlier than 2015. Um, just take a look at the materials that are listed on there on the tags that they're not supposed to rip off, <laughs> but most of us do. Um, so we're looking at fire retardants there as a hormone disruptor. Lead. Um, lead's gotten a lot of the bad news. Again, old paint, um, again, in our water. So make sure to test your water or look at that EWG um, website. I think it's just EWG.com. And then eating healthy whole foods um, shows that you would absorb less lead um, than normal. Arsenic, it's hard to believe, but there's arsenic in our food. And some of you might've heard that it's especially in rice and pasta. So make sure to rinse your rice or pasta before you go ahead and cook it. Try and get some of that off, if not all of it. Um, and again, water. So we gotta make sure that um, we don't have those heavy metals. When you're looking at arsenic as a heavy metal, um, and any of the heavy metals, cilantro is a really good one for a heavy metal detox. So cilantro oil would be your friend to add to a salsa or to add to a hummus or anything like that that you would like cilantro in. Mercury, again, another heavy metal. So again, cilantro is a great one for this. Um, so to avoid it, get wild caught. Alaskan salmon, Atlantic mackerel, Pacific sardines, um, and look at what areas have the high mercury uh, fish content and stay away from those and go towards the ones that don't. Um, number 10, I can call it PFCs, but I'm not going to do the other part there <laughs> and try and pronounce it. But um, Again, stay away from the nonstick cookware, uh, stain resistant treatments for your furniture, um, and make homemade popcorn, not the microwave popcorn. The microwave popcorn is, is super bad for you. Um, so even doing the microwave popcorn in, um, in, an, in a pot with uh, the coconut oil is awesome. It tastes much better, um, much more flavor than what you're gonna find in the organic popcorn. And you can add your oils to that. Um, coconut oil when you're popping the popcorn instead of getting the nice cheesy flavor or the different flavors that you might find in the microwave popcorn you can start making your own I have a great recipe for on guard popcorn that's absolutely delicious it's almost like a caramelized uh, popcorn okay number 11 pesticides basically they're all over the place so buy organic grow organic is the best thing that you can do there with number 11 and number 12 um, so non-toxic cleaners are on guard 
is the best that I know of um, to, and, and Kat talked about it last week about not having those fumes and such um, around your house. It's a natural immune booster. It's not going to harm your hormones in any way or block your hormones in any way. Um, you need to avoid products with ingredients um, like number two there. I'll call it here because I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Uh, e G B E. <laughs> And then the D-E-G-M-E. -E. Um, so again, check your water with the EWG.com and stay away from those chemicals that are in our laundry detergents and our cleaning products um, throughout our house. That um, also within our toothpaste, the fluoride within our toothpaste is something that basically allows those heavy metals to um, get past the blood-brain barrier within our brain. And that has caused some issues with people as well. 30 dozen. Now we'll get on to the good stuff. So when we're talking about hormones, it's a balancing act, right? Um, these five have been um, scientifically proven to balance 48 out of 50 of the body's hormones. Now, if you are under 30, maybe even under 40, you may not need the full lifelong vitality pack. You may just need the nutrient pack, which is going to be the X E omega and the VMZs to get your vitamins, minerals, and polyphenols, and to get your omega threes and omega sixes balanced. It would not have in that life in that nutrient pack um, the alpha CRS that's listed there, which is for cellular health. Okay, for the cells to basically multiply and divide without mutating to have that healthy reproduction of their cells. Um, the bone nutrient basically is for those that are athletes or women in menopause or anybody that has been diagnosed with a bone density issue. So that may not be a part of your protocol. The phytoestrogen is basically one that we're going to talk about a little bit um, further here, but it helps with those estrogens to balance anybody with a low estrogen count or a high estrogen count, kind of balancing things out. So this is our balancing act menu here. So some of the things that um, basically decrease progesterone. Um, stress produces cholesterol, which decreases progesterone, and adrenaline blocks the progesterone production. Um, so it, to increase the progesterone, you need to reduce stress. A lot of that is going to be with your citrus oil, so wild orange, Balanced Serenity or some blends that are really good for that. Bergamot, The Peace, Citrus Bliss, Elevation, Grapefruit, and there's some more behind here that all the citrus oils that you have available to you are great for reducing stress. Um, balance is one that I like to put on the bottoms of my feet in the morning. It's just great for helping all of your body systems work together. Um, the, to control toxics, to let's start that over to control toxicity. Um, again, those dirty dozen for your environmental and then being aware of what you put into your body um, and the chemicals that you use around your house or in your laundry detergent, et cetera. So detox as needed. So what I usually use as a rule of thumb is if you are exercising regularly, if you have no stress, if you are eating right, um, if you have all those three going for you, then just detox once a year. Everybody needs to detox. It's in our air. It's in our environment. We're surrounded by it. It's in our foods. Um, so with that, if you have one of those three that you're not doing regularly, add another detox time. So you may detox every quarter if you're not doing any of those three. Um, but I would suggest that those three would be very helpful to you in balancing your hormones, exercising, eating right, and relieving stress. So Part of the um, supplements that we're looking for our body to help with, um, let's say that second brain is the PB assist. So it's gonna support a healthy intestinal flora. The alpha CRS we said is going to help the body in its cellular health, its cellular reproduction of the right cells, the correct cells, the natural cells that your body has versus mutating cells, right? So it's gonna have flavonoids and cellular uh, rejuvenation for your system. 
Um, the X omega is the balancing of your omega-3s and the omega-6s that we have in our food and in our environment. So that's going to be your healthy cholesterol, your joints, and your brain health. Um, another one for healthy cholesterol is lemongrass. Lemongrass is great for healthy cholesterol. Um, put a drop in each drink you have throughout the day, maybe five, six drops a day. It's really good for health to support healthy cholesterol. Uh, VMZ is that plants and spices and herbs and, and essential oils and minerals that um, basically aren't necessarily in the food that we have today. Um, if you had an apple today and an apple from the 1950s, you would see that that apple today has a tenth of the nutrients that an apple from the 1950s would have. The apple today would look a lot prettier, but the apple from the 1950s has a lot more nutrients in it. Um, and so what we're looking for is to be able to supplement those naturally for the body to be able to accept it as food. There's a lot of supplements that you can get on the market that you'll pay hundreds of dollars for that basically do not have the, what you need in combinations that you need it to be able for your, for your body to be able to see it like food and be able to metabolize it like food. And you also find what they call fairy dusting where in order to put a product on the label, they put just a minute amount in it and it's not enough for your body. Um, so basically all of these vitamins and minerals um, as well as the Alpha CRS and the X Omega are supplement products, the Lifelong Vitality that we just talked about in the previous slide, um, took a bunch of different doctors and said, if you had the to put anything in a nutrient, product, what would it be? And so, um, and how much of it would it be? And so there was a panel of doctors that, that poured over this to make this the right kind of supplement and didn't spare the expense to just do fairy dusting or to do something to kind of cheat the labeling of what's in there. Um, Terra greens are cruciferous veggies are great for us, great for our skin, great for us to be able to hydrate from, uh, great to clean out our gut. So those terra greens are really good. Um, it's in a powder form that basically you can add to anything. Um, trim shake provides your fiber if you're not getting enough fiber in your diet. Our phytoestrogens, we're gonna talk about them in a little bit, but it's got the flax seed, the pomegranate seed, and the genistein, um, which are really important. Bone nutrient, we kind of talked about that. Um, so it's for natural bone density, um, not a calcium sup supplement. I, I wanna make sure that is clear. It's not a calcium supplement because an overdose of calcium over time can actually make the bones brittle. And if you have a calcium supplement that your body is not accepting as food, um, you might see that you break out in little white pimples on your face or around your body. And when you have that, what it's doing is it's, it's telling you that um, it's not able to metabolize that and it can create kidney stones. So we'll move on from all that fun stuff and to estrogen. So this is where uh, Basically, a woman gets her mental health, her skin health, her cardiovascular health, um, her cholesterol levels, her bone growth, etc. Right? This is this is us. <laughs> this is us as women. It's estrogen. It's all about estrogen. So during the childbearing years, it's our hormone cycle, right? Our monthly cycle, uh, supporting that childbearing. But it can also include things that we don't like, like mood swings, cramps, acne. Uh, water retention and weight gain. And we're, we're gonna have a um, something here shortly that I'll show you that helps with all of that. We the Calvary has arrived. And then in perimenopause. So we're not meant to basically have our estrogen jump off a cliff as most have had happen. And a lot of that is because our hormones have been blocked or our hormones have been inhibited in some way and so we feel like we've jumped off a cliff when we've hit perimenopause. Um, it's supposed to, as we start our cycle, it's supposed to go up and up and up until we get um, into our 30s, and then it's supposed to level out, and then when we go into perimenopause, it's supposed to gradually go down back to where we started. So basically, you're not supposed to be jumping off that cliff, and we'll give you some supporters here that will help with that as well. So what are some of those things that we 
have oh, hot flashes, forgetfulness, headaches, depression, anxiety, sleeping problems, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, so the estrogen production ceases, um, but typically most women are going to live more than a third of their life after menopause. And we don't want to have our cholesterol levels increase while our bone density decreases. So we have the bone density and we have ways to help with our cholesterol. So phytoestrogen, this is the one I was gonna talk to you about in regards to um, basically it has naturally occurring compounds that are from plants. And what it's helping us with is if you have too much estrogen, it provides a milder phytoestrogen to bind with the receptors. Um, so otherwise it might be filled with stronger estrogens and you have those mood swings or you have those anxieties or you have that, those angry moments, right? Um, and women with not enough estrogen, it provides um, help by filling those voids so that it's not, um, the beta receptor is not left with maybe some chemicals that are acting as a hormone, which can be, again, a disruptor to your whole body system talking to each other the way it needs to. So basically with the women with not enough estrogen, um, I, I use this with my daughter, I only use a third to a half of a capsule with her when she first started um, doing things that did really seemed out of character. <laughs> and it, it really leveled out her moods um, and helped her out. And then I started using it in perimenopause and have had, really have had very little in regards to those um, symptoms we talked about earlier. A few hot flashes early on, but not, not, not many, and definitely getting enough sleep, et cetera. So um, I highly recommend this. Now this is for those period months. So uh, Clary Calm, I have been um, on the hotline for some people where they'd call and say, I need this. I can't get uh, my daughter out of bed. Um, she's got cramps and I just, she's been, been here for four hours. Do you have any? Um, it has been a lifesaver for many young women who are going through their cycles that seem to be a little bit rough, um, as well as older women that, that tend to have those issues monthly with their cycle. So these are some of the things that are in it and what they support. So mon muscle tension, mood lifting, calming um, is a lot of the things on this list. And the way it's applied, it's in a 10 mil roller ball and the way it's applied is along the bikini line. So the top of the bikini line, just below your belly button, uh, you would go across from hip to hip. And then along the back of the neck, you would apply it to the back of the neck as well. Um, and those instructions are on there, but it's something that has been a lifesaver for many teenagers as I'm around a lot of teenagers nowadays. Um, bone nutrition. A um, friend of mine basically tested this product. Um, she was in her 60s, early 60s, I want to say she was about 63, and she did a bone te density test before she started taking this. When she did her bone density test, it came back as she was 53 in her bone density test, and she thought, wow that's pretty good. I'm, you know, 10 years younger than what I am. So that works out great. But let me go ahead and try this. And she did this product for about three to two to three months, and then did another bone density test, which they're really easy to do. She did the bone density test, and it came back that she had the bone density of a 34 year old. So I know this product really works. And not being a calcium supplement, it's not going to cause any brittleness with extended use, and it's not going to cause kidney stones. Um, basically, when your body sees these things as nutrients, as food, just like any other food, it takes what it needs from it and it flushes everything else out naturally. So this is a great way to um, help with your calcium absorption, natural calcium absorption. <laughs> So here's some of the takeaways I had for you. A lot of people have contacted me in regards to their thyroid. And the thyroid is basically, you know, going to be your um, metabolism control box, right? As well as doing a lot of other things. But when your thyroid's out of whack, it seems like anything you do for your hormones and for your weight gain and stuff that might be happening during that um, doesn't seem to work. 
So with this, you can make a roller ball that you apply to the thyroid. It's just a, like a bow tie, small bow tie on the middle of the neck there. Um, and you would apply it twice a day. So equal parts of myrrh, clove, and lemongrass to a third of the bottle. So if you're using a 10 mil bottle, it's gonna be 54 drops. And so you can divide that into thirds for those three, 27, 27 drops or nine drops each if you're using a five mil roller ball. Um, if you have a small purse like me, a five mil kind of works. Um, basically for me, morning and night, I just put a little bit of myrrh right here and then I cover it up with a little bit of lotion. Um, that way I get my moisturizer on my neck, but the myrrh is really all I use, but these others have proven to be super helpful with a lot of the other things that go on in your body when your thyroid's not working correctly. Um, now, other oils that you can add to this to help boost any uh, symptoms you might have or relieve some symptoms is frankincense can boost just about anything. It's the gold standard of oils. And so you add frankincense to anything and it boosts it. Basil, if you have chronic fatigue and marjoram, if you have muscle fatigue. Um, so those are great ways to support your thyroid. Um, we talked earlier about supporting your adrenals. Those two are really good at uh, helping us with any kind of blockages we might have with our hormones. And then this, for those that um, still have that monthly visitor, <laughs> um, the phytoestrogen, the Clary Calm, and balance on the bottoms of your feet daily. That's the best thing I can say to do for, um, for that time of the month, is just to keep doing those daily. Actually, the Clary Calm, when you have that period, but do the phytoestrogen and the balance um, on a regular basis, on a daily basis, and the Clary Calm during that time or anytime you have those symptoms of cramps, et cetera. So this is me. You can go to Essential Partners for any of the takeaways. Um, I can direct you to where to find the sheets um, and other information from Dr. Axe or Dr. Mark Hyman. Um, and then I do have to state that statements made here have not been evaluated by the FDA. Contact your healthcare provider should you need to do anything in regards to changing your healthcare. Any questions?